Pulleys are very interesting things. Here is a system of pulleys. Part of them are fixed and part are movable. Before we can understand how pulleys help us to do work, let us consider this picture. Now, there is a load attached to the system of pulleys. Now, if the load should go up by, say, four meters, then looking at the picture, there are six strands of rope attached to the pulleys. So, as the load is lifted by five meters, are you able to visualize that each of the strands of rope, and there are six of them, each one of them would have to move four meters up. So as the load goes up four meters, there are six strands that each move up four meters. So the total rope that moves up is 4 times 6, or 24 meters. And this is the length of the rope that would have to be pulled at the effort end. So as the load goes up 4 meters, 24 meters of rope would have to be pulled at the other end. Once we keep this in mind, question about the efficiency of the pulley system is easy to handle. Now let's put some numbers in the game. Let's say the load is 250 kilograms, so the force acting in the downward direction is mg, or 250 times 9.8 newtons, Let's approximate this and say it is 250 times 10 or 2,500 newtons. Now suppose an effort of 500 newtons is required to pull the load up by 4 meters. The, the definition of efficiency is the load times the load distance divided by the effort times the effort distance. The load is 2,500 newtons. The distance is 4 meters, as the load was moved up 4 meters. The effort is 500 newtons, but the effort required needed the rope to be pulled 24 meters. So we have the equation and doing the calculations you'll find that the efficiency of the system is 83%.